So what I've got here is the Thyristor, Hockey Puck Thyristor. So this is a West Code Exus. So it's 1700 amps at 2.2 kV that it's rated at. And I've got one which I opened up. All right. So here's our gate connection. And over there, you can see the little pin, the electrode, which makes contact with the gate. Okay. Now here's your semiconductor wafer over here. All right. It sits in there like that. So here's our multimeter. And I'm going to measure from the cathode to the central gate connection. And there's 13 ohms. So that's your gate connection over there. Now the rest of it closes up like this. That just goes over there. Your gate electrode sits over there with a spring and then this closes over it and that wire sits in this groove. It's insulated, it's got a sleeve over it and that spring holds the gate electrode against the gate connection in the middle there. And furthermore, this whole thing, these surfaces are flat. so. Once you put this in the heatsink and you clamp it, that's what makes the contact inside here. They're not actually mechanically bonded. It's a clamping force in between the heatsinks that provides the pressure, that provides the electrical connection between here, here, and here, and down there from your from your wafer so that's what your actual thyrist inside looks like that's the wafer so that's your silicon wafer you can see all the parts there very cool <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this tear down of some stuff that i've found in the scrap bin hope you learned something and enjoyed it and for the rest have no awesome no further I'll see you next time for some more wars, some more awesome stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, bye folks.